Here we go with the answers to number nine. So first question is a time question, and it tells us that trams leave Piccadilly to Eccles every nine minutes and to Didsbury every 12 minutes. A tram to them both leave Piccadilly at 9 a.m. At what time will the tram to Eccles and a tram to Didsbury next leave Piccadilly at the same time? So, we've got our Eccles tram and we've got our Didsbury tram, and they both leave at 9 so let's just have a look. So Eccles every nine minutes. So that's nine oh nine, nine eighteen, nine twenty seven, nine thirty six, nine forty five, nine fifty four, and so on. Let's just do the other one. This goes every twelve minutes. Nine. 12, 9, 24, 9.36 and I'm going to stop there because I've noticed that 9.36 is a good time. Now there's more than one way to solve this but this is probably the safest although I have to say I have seen people get this wrong because they haven't counted carefully enough in 9s and 12s so when you do something like this always go back and check your counting. Part 2. Work out 1.27 times 37. You should use whatever method you're familiar with. Most of you will have been taught the grid method. The safest way to do this is to ignore the decimal point to start with and then stick it back in later. So 3 times 1 is 3. 1, 2, 3 noughts. 2 3s are 6. 3 7s are 21 with a naught. 7 with 2 noughts. 2 7s are 14 with a naught. 7 7s are 49, then don't take any chances adding them up, make sure you add them up really carefully. Forty nine and there's the nine four eight that's nine seven ten sixteen and there we go. And now there's if we look at the question there are two numbers here after the point which means there must be two numbers in the answer so our answer is 46.99 and then you, would, if you were wise you would definitely run that through again if you had time in your exam because you never know the only way to really check see if you've made a mistake is do it again and I've got enough room up here to do it again okay question three so £20 is shared between Sally, Beth and Robert and Tom. Mrs. Clark gives £6.65 to Sally and then the rest of the money is shared equally. So starting with £20 and we're going to subtract the £6.65. So let's see how are you going to do this. Lots of different ways. I might just think I might do it on a number line. Start with 20 and I'm going to take away 6 and that's going to get me to 14. And now I'm going to take away, I don't know, 50p, and that's going to get me to £13.50. And that leaves me with 15p left to take away. So I take away 15p. From that I get um, 40, 35, 13, 35. bit paranoid so I'm just going to check I'm going to add it back on 13 35 6 65 5 5 that's 10 3 and 6 is 9 and 1 is 10 3 and 6 is 9 and 1 is 10 and there we go it's our 20 pounds so that's good so now we've got 13 35 and we've got to divide it between these three people so we're dividing that by 3 doesn't seem very nice does it so how are you going to do this well again if you if you've got a method you can use then that's absolutely fine um, I am going to do this using the bus stop method because that is the method that you should have seen at some point in your school career and there we are so threes into one don't go threes into 13 go well, four threes are 12, aren't they? 
So 4 through to 12, so that means there's one left after my 13. So 3's into 13 again, or 12. So it's 4, so 4 through to 12, which leaves me the remainder of 1, and 3's into 15 are 5. So 445. Okay, slightly harder questions now. Simplify fully. So if you're going to simplify a fraction, you need to factorise. And so I'm going to factorise the top and the bottom. So the top's going to factorise. I'm going to look at the 4. That's 1 times 4, or 2 times 2. And you can see that to make a 3, it's going to be the 1 and the 4. A positive 4 and a negative 1. Don't take any chances, though. Multiply it out. x minus 1, x plus 4 x times x is x squared plus 4x minus 1x minus 4 and those two there make the plus 3x so yes that's good now the bottom so this one's a bit harder so it's going to have a 2x and an x in it and 3 1 times 3 is the only option so um, first of all, I'm just going to I'm just going to use I'm going to try it around with the one over here because if this isn't x minus one, it won't cancel. Certainly, this isn't going to cancel anything on the top, so it better be x minus one, which means that this is probably going to be a negative as well. So let's just check. Two times x is two x squared. Two x times one is minus two x minus 3x plus 3 and that's going to give us our minus 5x so brilliant so we factorize that's a lot of the marks we just need to cancel now and you can see that we've got common factor top and bottom which leaves us with x plus 4 over 2x minus 3 which is our final answer simultaneous equations okay um, I'm going to go to get the y's the same, so I'm going to multiply the top one by 3 and the bottom one by 2. So when I multiply this by 3, I get 15x plus 6y equals 33. And on the bottom, I get 8x minus 6y is equal to 36. Now, I'm eliminating the, the y's. So I look at the sign of the y to tell me what to do. And because they're different, I'm going to need to add them. So 15 and 8 make 23x. Add them, you get nothing. Add these two and you get 69. And uh, divide, divide both sides by 23. And 23 times 3 is 69, so x equals 3. Now... Pardon me, let's get rid of that. Let's put our substitute x equals 3 into, and we can pick either of them. I'm going to do it to 5x plus 2y equals 11. Say so 5 times 3 plus 2y is equal to 11. subtract the 15 from the 11, so 2y is equal to negative 4, which means y is negative 2. Now, I got my 3, I got my minus 2 from the top one, so now I'm going to check using the bottom one. So 4x is 4 times 3, because x is 3, and then it's subtracting 3y, so 3 times minus 2, so that's 12, minus, minus 6, that's adding, gives us 18, which is what we've got here, so that's a really big confirmation. Okay, final probability tree one. So somebody goes to this fun fair. Okay, so we're just going to complete the probability tree first of all. So if that's 0 0.4, that's got to be 0 0.6. She either wins or doesn't win. They have to add up to certainty. 
this has got to be 0 0.7 for the same reason, she either wins or she doesn't win. Now let's just go and have a look at this one. The probability she wins at Hoopla is 0 0.4, the probability she wins on the Coconut Shy is 0 0.3, so that's 0 0.3 and 0 0.7. Okay, part B. The probability she wins at Hoopla and also on the Coconut Shy. So, she wins at Hoopla and she wins on the Coconut Shy. So when you're going this way through the tree, you multiply. So that's 0 0.4 times 0 0.3 and be very careful here 0 0.4 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.21 it's not 2.1 and I think that's it yes hope that was helpful